Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. For this week's Vinyasa Flow class, we are doing a flow into our splits. So this is a wonderful class if you are looking to improve your splits practice or you just wanna stretch out tight hips and hamstrings. Um, if you have two blocks, I would recommend grabbing them unless you can come down comfortably into the splits um, but having something to sort of lean against and keep you upright will be very helpful in the splits when we come into them. You don't have to be able to do the splits at all to do this practice. Um, if you can do them, this is just gonna take you further into them and stretch everything out. Um, but if you can't do the splits with repetition and patience and kindness and practice, this little flow um, will really help to improve your splits. So without further ado, grab your mat, grab props if you have them and we will go and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, especially if you enjoy splits practice and subscribe to stay updated. I post out one brand new video every week on here. If one video isn't enough, then follow the link in the description box, which will take you to my online page, which is The Sacred Space, where I post lots of videos every single week, all different styles, workouts, yin yoga, stretches, meditation, breath work, etc. It's $4.99 a month, it's a bargain, so go and check that. Thanks guys. Okay, my lovelies, we are gonna begin our practice at the end of our mat in our child's pose. And we're just gonna do this to relax the body, to connect inwards and just start to loosen off the hips. So just settling your body down, bringing in a big inhale, feeling the belly expand. And then allowing yourself to just relax into your exhale. Finding acceptance for however your body feels here, for whatever sensations are arising. And keep this acceptance with you as we move through this practice. The sensations will change from each pose. We want to breathe into any discomfort, trying to find some inner peace whilst we may be in an uncomfortable position. But we don't want to push the body too much. We don't want to get to the point where anything was painful. So set an intention to listen to your body, to have acceptance, and to stay present. On your next inhale, just walk the fingertips a little further away. Find some more length through the spine. Maybe you lift your elbows off the mat. Three more deep breaths. And slowly draw the hands in so that you're lifting up. Tuck the toes underneath and we're gonna find our ragdoll at the end of the mat. If you have your blocks, you can take your hands onto blocks. Otherwise, just find the elbows. Spine rounds, head drops. And take a moment to really let go here as much as you can. Softening from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Feeling that release all the way through the back. Notice how the hamstrings are feeling. We're doing this just to start to loosen them off. And if the hamstrings are feeling okay, then you might want to bring little bends into the knees one at a time. So just slowly bending and extending each knee. And this is gonna allow you to work a little bit deeper into the backs of the legs. Keep going just for a couple more. And then inhale halfway, either bring the hands to the shins or fingertips on the mat. Straighten out the spine, open up the chest. Bend into the knees so you can bring your hands down, walk it out into your high plank. 
Exhale slowly through your chaturanga, knees down or lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Just take a few rounds of the breath in, down dog, and you might just want to repeat that walk out, so little bends into the knees one at a time. So for our splits, our focus is our hamstrings and the front of our hips, our hip flexors. And we're not going to be speeding through this flow, we're taking it nice and slow, really working on our flexibility. So finding stillness in your down dog. Send the gaze between the hands and step your right foot forwards. Lower down to the left knee. And you can lift onto fingertips or bring your hands to your blocks. We're just lifting the chest, but gently pressing the weight of the body forward. Knee is above the ankle. Take three breaths here, breathing into the front of that left hip, whatever else you might feel it. Keep the hands framing the right foot, exhale, draw the hips back, half splits. Hips are in line with one another, draw the right toes in towards you. And we're keeping the chest open just for now. You can stay with the chest open, I'll see how it feels as you exhale, round the spine, let the head drop, three more breaths. And slowly bend into the right knee, back knee lifts. And slowly step that back foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing palms together, draw that energy up. Lift the gaze, switch the core on, open up through the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Bend into the knees, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to just breathe and gently press down through the heels. Gaze between the hands, step the left foot forward, lower down to the right knee. Same thing, gently press the hips forward, lift the chest, three breaths. Exhale, draw the hips back. Keep the hands framing the left foot. And keep the chest open just for a little bit. Once we round the spine and let the head drop, it really does get you a little deeper into the back of that hamstring, so you might not need it just yet. Maybe you need that extra stretch, exhale, round head drops, three more breaths. Bend the front knee. Back knee lift, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing. And exhale, fold. Letting that breath move your body. Inhale, halfway. Bend into the knees, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause on that down dog. Every time you're here, you're pressing your weight down through the heels. You're trying to shift the weight out of the hands. Turn the gaze between the hands. It's time to step the right foot forward. Keep the back knee lifted. 
And we want to slide the back toes away so that you can really drop the hips down and lift the chest. This is where the blocks come in handy. And it just gives you something to rest on rather than the fingertips. Don't worry if you don't. We want to stay strong through that left quad. We're lifting the chest. And we're just letting the hips sink down towards the mat. So a little bit more active. Should feel a little bit more awkward. Three breaths. And then slowly draw the hips up. Straighten out that right leg as much as you can. Keep pulling your left hip forward, right hip back, and just like in half splits. You can stay here. Or we have the chest open, or see how it feels to exhale, fold, spine rounds, head drops, three breaths. Bend back into that right knee. Back foot top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Bend into the knees, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Little pause here. We're going to switch to the left side. So gaze to the hands, step the left foot forward. So this time back knee stays lifted. You can bring the hands onto the blocks. Inhale, open up the chest. Let the hips drop down. Strong for that right quad. And then lift the hips up, keep the hips square, keep pulling your left hip back, right hip forward. And your front knee doesn't have to be straight. You can have a little bend into it. Stay with the chest open or exhale, fold over that left leg. Well done, bend back into that left knee. Back foot top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step back to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing in that down dog, three rounds of the breath. And then send your gaze towards the hands and slowly start to walk the feet in halfway. Left heel turns in, right foot steps between the hands and you can bring those hands onto blocks. So we're in quite a short pyramid pose, left hip pulling forward, right hip is pulling back. Lift onto the fingertips, open up the chest. Exhale, fold from the belly, then the chest, then the head. Five breaths here. Keep the hips in line with one another. We want to feel this deep into the calf, the hamstring, not into the hips. Oh. 
Hold for one more breath. Maybe you can go a little closer in on that exhale. And we inhale halfway. See if you can step forward with the left foot and then replace the left foot with the right foot. Hips are square, left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, folding from the hips, then the chest, then the head. Five breaths. One more deep breath. Inhale, halfway step, right foot, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway length and bend into the knees and just step back with your left foot. Lower down to the left knee. So we're gonna take it into one last little hip flexor stretch. So you can stay again with the hands down if coming up is too much, or you're gonna interlace your fingers together. You're gonna to rest them onto the top of the right thigh. But without leaning back, so we don't wanna put any pressure on the lower back, we want to lean forwards, knees above the ankle. You might want to rest the chest down. Just see what feels best. And we're gently pushing the hips towards the top of the mat. And just use each exhale to soften that lower body. One more big breath in. And relax into that exhale out. Okay, I think we're ready to find our splits on our right side. So if you have your blocks, you're gonna grab them. And if you're not ready to take your splits today, do not worry, you're gonna come into half splits. So pull the hips back and exhale. You're just gonna fold and you're gonna breathe into it. But you do not have to be able to do the splits to come down towards them. So pull the hips back like you're coming into half splits. You can use your blocks for support. And then just slide that right foot away. So what we want to do is make sure that we're not turning that left knee out to the side and we're not opening up the hips. So keep pulling your left hip like you would in half splits, left hip forward and right hip back, making sure your back knee is facing the mat. And if you really struggle with this, a little technique is just to keep those back toes tucked underneath. If the back toes are tucked under, that knee can't spin out to the side. And then just start to slide them away from one another. And you can bring a block underneath the back of the thigh, depending on how far down you are. And one other tip as well is to not bring so much arch into the lower back. And we don't want to put pressure in that lower spine in the vertebrae. So if you do feel like you're putting pressure into that lower back, just lean a little further forwards. Try and find that nice straight spine. So once you're down, about as far as you think you can go, we're going to do five breaths together. This is all optional. So I always think it's nice, and when I was practicing my splits, to gently ease out as you inhale. So you can use a block, so you just draw up, inhale. And then exhale, you let the body soften and you sink a little further down. So five breaths in your own time. Use each inhale to ease out and use each exhale to take you a little further down. And then when you feel like you're as far down as you can go, we're just gonna stay here five breaths. Any pain come out? If it just feels a little uncomfortable, we're gonna breathe into it. So see if you can close the eyes. If you're in your full split, you might want to find a little twist variation. You might want to take a fold over the front leg. The world is your oyster. And 
and slowly come out. We're going to make it back into our lunge. So slowly come around, take your time to come out. If you really need to shake the legs out, you can. We're going to step back to the top of the mat. Oh, you'll feel it in the front of that hip. <laughs> nice and gentle, inhale halfway. Bend the knees, step back with the right foot. Lower down to the right knee. So you stay in this supported lunge and we're gonna lift up and just use a little bit of the body weight and the hands to go a little deeper into the front of that right hip. Taking any arch out of the lower back by leaning forwards and using every exhale to soften the lower body. One more deep breath, see if you can relax the hips any further. And let the hands bring the left up. Exhale, gently draw the hips back, so this is where you can hold your half splits. Or you slide that left foot as far forward as all go. Right leg sliding back. If that knee's turning out, keep the toes tucked underneath. Trying to keep your hips in line with each other so we don't want them to spin open, which makes splits much easier. We want to close the hips. So don't worry if you can't come down as far. Use the blocks, use the props. Use the breath. Five breaths. Inhaling to ease out. And exhaling just to soften, see if you can take it a little further into your splits. In your own time. And now we're going to hold. So find any other variation of your splits. It's really nice to twist towards, or yeah, towards the leg that's in front. Or to fold. Otherwise we stay. Five more breaths. Maybe you close the eyes. Find acceptance for whatever your body is. Well done. If you're down in your splits, then you can sit round your left glute and swing your right leg all the way around. If you're not, then just come out of the splits however you need to. Give your legs a really good shake out. And we're going to come all the way down and just take a quick little shavasana. Just to let your body download the benefits from this practice. And give the legs a nice little rest. So let them stretch out. Settle the body down. Hands can rest on the belly or arms either side of the body. Draw in a big inhale, filling up the lungs fully. And then sigh out that exhale. Completely allow your body to relax here. Just a couple of minutes where your body doesn't have to be held in any position. You're just allowing the legs to relax. Letting your body reap the rewards of this practice.
and then slowly starting to invite some gentle movement back into the body. Hug the knees in and gently rock your lower back against the mat. And when you're ready, just gently coming back to seated. And we'll just bring the hands to the heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself for taking this time out of your day, dedicating it to not just the physical body, but most importantly, to the mind. Bow the head to the heart. Namaste.